about uh, smoking her considering the dangers of smoking including second hand and third hand smoke. Brent and Allison are work associates. Brent has been a smoker for a long time but recently quite smoking. A reason is curious about the reason why. Hi Brent, you look great. Are you on the diet? No, but I'm getting more exercise. And recently I did quite smoking. Quite smoking. I saw that you said smoking helped relieve your stress. It did at first, but after I became more aware of the harmful effect of smoking, my, perspect my perspective changed. And last month it came to a head. It must be something pretty serious. It was. I was being smoking for years, but last month I started coughing really badly. That's scary. It is true that smoking can lead to lung cancer, heart disease, and other diseases. I have read about that and didn't think it applied to me until I get that cause. Then I realized that I have, that I should take it seriously. And now that you have quite smoking, people around you won't be affected by secondhand smoke. I know recently I have been on my friend's case too, quite smoking. Now that she is pregnant, that's very dangerous. The baby can get asthma, which will affect its entire life. I read a report by I read a report from World Health Organization, which said a top death a top cause of death for children under the age of five is air pollution. Much air pollution is from secondhand smoke. That report also said that secondhand smoke and air pollution result in a, about 570 child deaths around the world each year. The true harm of tobacco smoke is that it is a silent killer. Smoking and secondhand smoke hurt people. That's why the government passed the Tobacco Hazard <coughs> Prevention Act. It prohibits smoking at workplaces and public areas. Have you ever heard of certain smoke? You mean the toxic chemical from tobacco smoke left on things like clothes and and furniture? Exactly. So there is really no avoiding poison left behind by smoking. Even using a fan or air conditioner can't get rid of residual smoke. The residual remains on surface at least six months. And it is especially dangerous for babies and young kids. That's why right, the intake of these residuals can cause asthma and affect brain development. Does the certain smoke affect pets too? I read that pets exposed to certain smoke are more likely to get cancer. It is especially true of the cats who ingest who ingest toxins when they lick their face, they run a higher risk of getting oral cancer and lymph lymphoma. Mm. That's that's awful. Poor kids and poor pets. I'm glad that you quite friends. Me too. I used to think smoke was just a thing of personal choice, but obviously there are more to think about. I can imagine that it isn't easy to quit smoking, but you did the right, but you made the right choice. Good for you. How? <coughs> <coughs>